So what is Portainer? Well, what we're finding is organizations are adopting containers for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's app modernization or vendors are shipping the software as containers. And most new apps are being built to run on containers by default. That leaves platform teams with a mandate to provide a reliable and simple container platform that the devs can consume. To deliver that, platform teams could try Docker or Docker Swarm if they want to cluster, or Kubernetes, the de facto standard for container platforms these days. And that Kubernetes could be on-prem or in the cloud, for example, an AKS or an EKS environment. Others might try Podman or even leveraging a cloud offering like Azure ACI. And most organizations will end up running multiples of these or a mix of them. At Portainer, we call each of these environments. And a big challenge for your platform teams is they end up having to manage all of these separately. Not only do they end up managing them separately, but they actually require quite specialized skills to manage and operate each of them. What we constantly see is a need for a simpler way to manage multiple environments. Not just another way to connect, but a way that makes container platforms operable by IT generalists. So you don't need a specialist for each stack just to keep the lights on. And this is where Portainer comes in. Portainer is a multi-cluster, multi-environment manager. It's self-hosted and it runs as a container. It's also ultra lightweight and super efficient, managing tens of thousands of environments with less than eight gig of RAM and only four CPU cores. It's important to note that Portainer is designed to sit between your users and the clusters they manage, and it handles all authentication and authorization. As mentioned, Portainer runs as a small container. In this diagram, you can see it as the purple container that's now running on the Docker host at the bottom left. Now that Docker host could be a physical host, it could be a VM, it doesn't matter. It is literally a container that you can run wherever you run containers today. Now, as mentioned, Portainer is designed to sit between the user and all these environments it manages, and Portainer can integrate with your corporate directory for all authentication and authorization. You can integrate using OAuth or LDAP or Active Directory, now known as Intra. And then once deployed, your users or platform team who manage Portainer can log into Portainer and add each of the environments to manage them. And the way we do that is when you go to add an environment, we provide you the command to run your environment to deploy an agent, which then will connect back to Portainer. Once all your environments are connected to Portainer, all command and control happens from Portainer. So all your user ever has to interact with is Portainer itself. Now, as you can see in the diagram here, that could be via the web UI. It could be via an API request, or we even allow some of your advanced users that still prefer the terminal and kubectl to download a kubeconfig file from Portainer, which actually proxies their commands through Portainer to each of those clusters you're managing. And one last thing I'll mention is that because Portainer is that middleware that sits between your users and your clusters, Portainer provides a centralized and consistent way to manage each of those environments remaining agnostic of where those environments run or the type of environment they are. So I hope that gives you a clearer picture of where Portainer sits in terms of your environment and how it expects to operate. 